the funeral of um, the prominent actor and film producer Shona Ferguson. Uh, that funeral uh, seems to be underway right now. Earlier, you would have seen the family arriving, uh, the funeral taking place at uh, the Four Ways Memorial Park. The actor, uh, you'll remember, passed away last week Friday due to COVID-19 complications. His death uh, continues to send shockwaves throughout South Africa. We are going to take you to those proceedings as soon as uh, the speeches do begin. You're watching News Feed, the AM edition. He's always been one of us, and he's always been part of us. And that translated in all of us, as the Marcellus, becoming Pegasons, and the Pegasons becoming Marcellus. And now we all just got intertwined and became one big family. One thing I learned from my journey with my brother is that you cannot and you should not assume to know a person until you know them because that's that's what happened with me and Shona when we first met uh, it was even before he met my sister we were working for the same company, Edutech. He was one of the managers. I was just a new sales rep there, a new sales executive. He was one of the managers. And every time when we get into these training halls of how to be a good sales executive, the guys who were sort of teaching us would always make an example, Kashona. But you see, if you want to be successful in this, look at that guy. You see the way he dresses. Because he used to wear this timberland, this huge fubu jacket. And, <laughs> and so if you want to, and brand. So that always set him as an example. For now. If you want to be successful, you have to be like that guy. There will be days whereby we would get to the hospital and we would see the nurse panicking, shaking, more or less telling us as family that, um, guys, we did all we could. This is the time for you to say goodbye. You know, we would just look at them and say, no, you know, do what you need to do. This man is coming back home to us. And Mr. Shaw being the fighter that he was, it's like he was listening to us. Because whatever numbers that we, sh that, that, that we saw on the screens, he literally just picked them up and gave us that hope that, yes, family, I'm coming back home. Um, he really fought that two weeks. He fought. He, 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 he stayed there for us. Um, we, we prayed. We prayed. And I know he prayed with us because he was a man with massive faith. Um, right now, we're practicing that at home. Um, usually he was our pillar. He was the one who was actually the leader when it comes to faith, when it comes to praising God, when it comes to believing. And, and now the family has followed on his footsteps. Hello, my name is Ronewa Kaikia Mangalema. And my grandpa was very much, very much more than my than my grandpa because he already knew the, uh, what I wanted whenever I, uh, whenever I even asked it. And he used to, he used to call me Kai and he used to call me King. But now that he has 
But now that he is in heaven, um, I'll never, I'll never hear him call me King Kai ever. But let your soul rest in peace, and we all love you. May Jesus and God love us, love all of you, and be thankful that we have made our own decision. Because if we did not, we would not be have our family, but we would also love and meet each other whenever we wanted. If not, we would not be a family with all each other, but we will still love and pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. My dad has done a lot for me as a person. He has motivated me to take bigger steps in life that I wouldn't have taken. He encourages me to do things that I wouldn't do. And I'm very thankful that he has enabled me to do that. Because in the past, I was a child who was very much in their shell. He opened that shell and let me launch out. I will never forget whenever I had a performance or a competition, I would always stress and say, I don't know what to play, I don't know what to play. Or the song that I was going to play wasn't good enough. All he said was, ah, you're going to kill it. That's it. Very simple, but also very dismissive. But now I realize that means a lot to me. Because it just showed me that he had no doubt in whatever I do, I was going to succeed. So I'm going to keep this very short. But I promise, he made me a promise to always be by my side, wherever he is, wherever I am. And I'm going to make him a promise, as I have done before, that no matter what comes, what goes, I will always carry on his legacy, and I'll make him and my family proud. This fight that he fought so hard for, It's, it's a painful one to try and process. I, I, I can't even lie to you. A lot of this doesn't feel real. A lot of this feels like a bad dream. Like if, if we wake up, then you know everything will be back to normal. But life doesn't work that way. So the only thing that I think any of us can really take from this is the lessons that he imparted on us. Which is to work hard and chase the things that you want out of life. And that doesn't necessarily mean the material things. It means fighting for your family. It means never stop being yourself. My dad couldn't be anybody else but himself. And he was an actor. But he never changed for anyone. He, you, you, what you saw was what you got. And... I mean, 20 years is a long time, and, and it's such a blessing that, you know, you kind of wish you feel like you had a little bit more, or like one more. Uh, I know the one thing I really miss the most right now is his hugs, especially because I'm short, so I always end up by the chest, so it would be a bear hug. <laughs> I miss those hugs. Um, they always made you feel like everything is going to be okay.